computer and amazing machine. Warm up. Color the clouds blue for the things that you can touch. Color the clouds green for the things that you cannot touch. Dear children, welcome to the new class. In the previous class, you learned that the computer is a wonderful machine. It has different parts that work together to form a computer system. Let us learn more about its parts. A computer system basically consists of the following two main components hardware software hardware hardware refers to all those physical parts of a computer that we can see and touch the hardware of a computer cannot work on its own it needs help in the form of instructions Software. Unlike a hardware, a software cannot be seen or touched. Software is a set of instructions, commands or programs that tells a computer hardware how to operate. Types of hardware based on its function. Hardware of a computer is further classified into four parts. Input, Processing, Output and Storage Devices Some input devices An input device is used to enter data and give instructions to the computer. The commonly used input devices are A keyboard is the most common input device used to enter data and instructions into the computer. A keyboard has many keys on it. A mouse is a pointing device which allows us to give commands as input. We use a mouse to point at, select and move objects on the monitor. A joystick is used to play games on the computer. The stick is used to move in any direction while playing games. A webcam is a camera that is attached to the computer to capture photos and videos. It is mainly used for video conferencing. A microphone is used to record our voice and other sounds into the computer. The recorded sound is then saved as a sound file on the computer. Sound cards enable the computer to record sound input from a microphone connected to the computer. A scanner copies a picture or text printed into the computer. There are many types of scanners. The most commonly used scanners are flatbed and barcode scanner. Keep in mind, barcode scanner is used to scan the printed barcodes present on the various products. It can be seen in large grocery stores, shopping malls, etc. Take a break. Rearrange the letters and write the names of the input devices. Processing device. The CPU, central processing unit, is the brain of the computer. This is where the computer does all the processing work it also controls all input output and other devices it is inside the box known as the cpu box some output devices output devices are used to display the result of processing of the data output may be printouts from the printer sounds from the speakers or images on the monitor the commonly used output devices are a monitor displays whatever is typed on the screen. It also displays the processed information. It is also called visual display unit VDU. The output on monitor is called soft copy.
speakers and headphones are used to listen to output in the form of sound. A printer helps us to print on paper what we see on the monitor screen. The output printed on a paper is called hard copy. A projector displays images and videos from the computers on a large screen. Storage devices. Some of the storage devices are as follows. A hard disk is the main storage device which stores all the work we do on a computer. It is present inside the CPU box. CD stands for compact disk. It is a flat, shiny disk that stores a lot of information. A pen drive is a tiny storage device that can store a large amount of data and can be carried easily. Types of software Computer software can be classified into two types System software and application software. System software, it is also known as operating system. Without an operating system, a computer has no life. It contains all the programs that are required to run the computer. Application software The software which is specially designed to carry out a particular function is called an application software. These software come loaded in CDs and has to be installed on the computer system. Some of the commonly used application software are Word processor. Word processors are used to type, edit and format text documents for official purpose. The widely used word processor is MS Word. Spreadsheets. These types of programs help to store, organize and calculate the data in a tabular form. The most common spreads sheet program is MS Excel. Presentations. With the help of MS PowerPoint, we can present our data in the form of slide shows. Computer games. We can play games on the computer for recreation. Some of the games such as Solitaire, Hearts, etc. come pre-installed in the computer. Music Player We can listen songs on our computer with the help of Windows Media Player. VLC Media Player, etc. We can create our playlist and install songs of our choice. Keep in mind even mobile phones have an operating system inside them. Example of a popular mobile operating system is Android. A computer system basically consists of a hardware and software. Hardware refers to all those physical parts of a computer that we can see and touch. Unlike hardware, a software cannot be seen or touched. An input device is used to enter data and give instructions to the computer. The CPU is the brain of the computer. Output devices are used to display the result of processing of the data. Computer software can be classified into two types, system software and application software. 